Hello everyone. Welcome to this Java tutorial for beginners. In our previous video, we talked about getter and setter methods in Java. And in our today's video, we will continue our discussion and talk about one of the most important object oriented design concepts that is encapsulation. So without wasting time, let's get started. Now let us understand what is encapsulation in Java. So encapsulation in Java is a mechanism of wrapping the data and code acting on the data together as a single unit. And in encapsulation, the variables of the class will be hidden from the other classes and can be only accessed through the methods of the current class, right? And it is also known as information hiding. So we will understand this encapsulation with the help of the code example now. In our previous video, we wrote this program to you know, implement the getter and setter methods in Java. And we also saw the importance of getter and setter methods. As you have already seen in our previous video that you know once I made this variables private, we were not able to access them outside the person class, right? So if I tried to access these variables in this class objects class, we were getting the compilation error. So this is called as data hiding. So basically what you are doing is, you know, you are making this, you know, unavailable to the other classes, right? And it can be only accessed by the same class, right? So in order to access or modify this data, we were forced to use this getter and setter methods. And how with the help of this getter and setter methods, we were able to prevent our external objects from you know, performing dangerous operations like setting this age variable to negative values. And how even if we change the implementation of this, you know, method set age, there was no impact in the other parts of the program. So encapsulation is nothing but, you know, the provision to bring the data and methods that manipulate that data in a single component called as class, which prevents the outside interference. So what do we mean by that? So suppose we have this age data and you know, we have this set age method and get age method and together they act on this age data, right? And this age data, name data and all the getter and setter methods belong to this class person, right? So all the data and this methods are bundled inside this person class, right? So in order to access all the data, we need to First, you know, create the instance of that class and then we can access the setter and the getter methods, right? And one final thing what you need to know is that, you know, if you want to implement encapsulation at our class level, we need to make our getter and setter methods public. So before this getter and setter methods, we need to write this keyword public, right? And, you know, we will discuss these modifiers private public in our later video. For now, just remember that, you know, if you want to implement encapsulation at our class level, we need to, you know, make our data members private and our getter and setter methods public. So that is it for the today's video. And don't forget to subscribe for more Java programming videos like this. And I will see you until next time.